6.4 says the zoologist measured tail lengths in 86 individuals, all in the one year age group of the deer, mo deer mouse Paramyscus. The me mean length was 60.43 millimeters and the standard deviation was 3.06. So we have n is equal to 86, we've got 80, 86 measurements, our mean y bar is 60.43 millimeters, and the standard deviation is 3.06. And it gives us the entire um, frequency distribution, I'm not going to copy that down here, but part a just says calculate the standard error. So in this case our standard error is s divided by the square root of n. So that is going to be 3.06 divided by the square root of 86. And when you do that calculation, you get 0.33 millimeters. Okay, and I'm just going to skip ahead to 6.5. And 6.5 says, refer to the mouse data of exercise 6.4. Suppose the zoologist were to measure 500 additional animals of the same population. Based on the uh, data in exercise 6.4, A is what would you predict to be the standard deviation of the 500 new measurements? So what happens to the standard deviation? Okay, And so again, the standard deviation is how much the data varies within a sample. So in, in our case, we expect um, the sample, uh, if we had 86 uh, mice in the sample and that had a standard deviation of 3, we would also expect the uh, standard deviation of the 500 mice to also be about 3.3 uh, millimeters. So I'm going to say about 3 millimeters. This is how much um, the data, or in this case, how much the tail lengths differ uh, from one another within our sample. In this case, um, it's going to still be about 3 millimeters, uh, e even though we've increased the sample size. However, Part B asks, what would you predict the standard error of the mean to be for five, the 500 new measurements? So in this case, for the standard error, remember this is uh, an estimate or and it gives us an idea of how, um, how close the mean measurement, uh, whether that y bar is 60.43 or something else, whether it tells us how close that mean measurement is to the actual population mean. So the true population mean of all mice so uh, is going to be some number, and our samples are just an estimate. So we expect that number to go down when our sample size increases. So in this case, our standard error we expect to decrease, and that's governed by the formula s divided by the square root of n. So in this case, we, we're going to have something um, close to 3 millimeters, that's what we're estimating to be our standard deviation, divided by the square root of 500. Okay, so something close um, to about 0.13 millimeters. Okay, that's what you get when you do this calculation. And so that tells us that um, our standard error uh, has decreased, and that's because we expect our um, sample mean to be a better estimate of the population mean when our sample size is very big.